This video is sponsored by the Interchain Liquidity Lab, Osmosis. Supercharged liquidity is coming to Osmosis, and that means more capital efficiency. So users get better prices on swaps, LPs are able to earn more yield, and Osmosis tokenomics get a massive upgrade. Liquidity in Osmosis used to be spread out evenly. This is simple and passive, but not capital efficient. Large swaps could easily cause large fluctuations in price and be expensive to execute. And Osmosis combats this with supercharged liquidity. This concentrates liquidity and allows the same liquidity to be more capital efficient, allowing larger trades to be cheaper and have less price impact, all while having the same amount of liquidity, just this time supercharged. Look at this 12,000 Atom Osmo swap worth over $115,000. If you look at the router, you can see 50% goes to the supercharged pool and the other half goes to the standard pool. This means the same assets, the same liquidity spread, the same fees and price impact, but let's investigate supercharged liquidity. You can see that pool number one and 1135 have the exact same assets. But if you look closer, you realize this one has a lightning icon. That means it's supercharged. And if you compare the stats, you can see the power of Osmosis supercharged liquidity. The supercharged pool has more volume, half the amount of liquidity, all while collecting more fees and having 90% APR versus 19. So with this massive upgrade, Osmosis requires less liquidity to have the same impact. LPs are able to earn more yield and Osmosis tokenomics become more sustainable. All with Osmosis supercharged liquidity. Supercharged liquidity is coming to the Interchain Liquidity Lab, and it's a big deal. I'm so excited to say thank you Osmosis for sponsoring this video. With the support, I'm able to talk about the magic of supercharged liquidity. In this video, I'll talk about the basics of AMMs. So what are AMMs and why? The concept of liquidity and liquidity providing, how AMMs work, and the idea of price relativity. Then talk about Osmosis standard pools and its efficiency or lack thereof, and its shift towards supercharged pools, the principle of concentrated liquidity, how ticks and spacing works, and then finally comparing standard versus supercharged pools then a tutorial on Osmosis Supercharged Liquidity. So that's navigating the Osmosis pools and how to sort through them, how to use Osmosis Standard Pools, and how to use Osmosis Amazing Supercharged Interface. And then the impact of this on Cosmos DeFi and Osmosis Tokenomics. This is a dream come true and I'm so excited, so let's get started. What are AMMs? AMMs stand for Automated Market Maker. Market making is price discovery, seeing how much the market is willing to buy and sell an asset. And we are able to deploy smart contract code on a blockchain that allows for the automated part of AMMs. AMMs naturally being automated allow for passive price discovery, perfect for young small crypto markets. Typical markets like stocks work off bids and ask, so when you sell a stock, it matches up with someone who wants to buy. This is more efficient, but requires two people who want to swap the same asset at the same time. For low liquidity assets, this is particularly hard, and this is where AMM's LPs come into play. Liquidity and liquidity providing LP. Liquidity refers to the volume of a market and the amount of money that flows in between buys and sells. For emerging markets where people want to buy and sell these assets, they're willing to pay you for price discovery, and this is called LPing, which stands for liquidity providing. AMMs are unique in the fact that they allow markets to passively price assets, and swappers pay a fee for this service, but this can be inefficient. So how do AMMs work? Here's the basic design of a constant product AMM. K equals X times Y. K is the constant, which is the constant amount of value that has been provided in the pool. Y is token A, and X is token B. So how much is this apple? If you're American, you might say $1 for one apple, but they use other things across the world, like other currencies like yen, Canadian dollar, but also other assets like gold or apple stock or even other fruit. Like how one apple can be worth two oranges. This means the value of something is only relative to other things. But how do we find the exchange rate of apples to oranges? Here's how the constant product AMM would price it. If Y is apples, X is oranges, and let's say the current apples to orange exchange rate is 1 to 2. To find our constant K, we want to deposit an equal value of apples and oranges into a pool. If we aim to provide liquidity on a total value of 99 fruit, given the exchange rate of 1 apple to 2 oranges, we would need to deposit 33 apples and 66 oranges into our pool. This gives us K equals 33 times 66, which is 2,178. Now we have a pool that allows people to freely trade between apples and oranges. 
oranges. If X oranges are in demand, people will give up more apples Y to get them. As the demand of oranges increases, their value might rise to be equivalent to apples, changing the ratio to 1 to 1. Traders agree to pay fees for swapping fruits, and let's say the fees gained are 5 fruits. As a liquidity provider, once you're done, you can collect these fees and withdraw your assets. Although the total value remains constant, in this case, the product, 2,178, the distribution between apples and oranges can change. If you initially deposited 33 apples and 66 oranges, at a 1 to 2 ratio, and the value changes 1 to 1, you might end up withdrawing a different combination of the apples and oranges that maintained the product of 2,178. If X oranges becomes more valuable, you have fewer apples Y than you initially deposited. So now that you know how AMMs work, let's talk about standard versus supercharged liquidity. Here are three users, each with 100 LP shares using the standard pool. Wasming then deposits 100 LP shares, and so does Amelia and Dodgemos. You can see that liquidity is spread out evenly between all price ranges. So all three users that deposited 100 LP shares get the exact same strategy and the exact same amount of trading fees. The more liquidity means the better swaps, but with these standard AMMs, you only get better swaps linearly through adding more LP shares. These osmosis pools use the standard K equals X times Y. This is simple and passive, but forces your liquidity to be spread between zero and infinity. On the other hand, concentrated liquidity allows for liquidity providers to specify the range in which they want to provide liquidity. Here's a shallow liquidity pool. When a trade goes through shallow pools, it's able to easily move through liquidity and change prices. But with Osmosis' supercharged liquidity, this makes shallow pools more compact and concentrated, making this liquidity more deeper and withstand better price movement. With the exact same size trade, concentrated liquidity gives a bigger bang for your buck, aka capital efficiency. If a standard pool wanted to match this liquidity, it would cost way more to do the exact same thing. And this... This core principle is the magic behind supercharged liquidity. So let's learn how concentrated liquidity works. Popularized by Uniswap v3, Osmosis uses a similar model that gives range to the standard k equals x times y, and they added a mechanism for more adjustability. The way these ranges are calculated are by ticks. Ticks is a unit of measurement of price along a liquidity pool and is used to measure the current price of an asset and the amount of liquidity in a certain range. Ticks are calculated using this formula, but Osmosis makes use of something called geometric tick spacing with additive ranges. When trading assets, these ticks can have large gaps for larger assets, or you may need them to be ultra precise when dealing with assets worth fractions of a penny. To dial this precision, Osmosis uses an exponent for this precision factor. So priced at $1, the tick is set to 0 with an exponent precision factor of negative 6. That means the spacing between the very next smallest and largest asset is 100 ticks. So tick 100, is $1.0001, and tick negative 100 is 0 0.99999. But as you get larger or smaller by a factor of 10, the precision exponent factor increases or decreases to adjust to the asset. So that means Osmosis can support assets as big as this, or be as precise as this. With geometric tick spacing with additive ranges, this gives greater flexibility and granularity when setting prices at the most extreme ranges. So let's say Wasmington wants a passive strategy. He deposits 100 LP shares exactly like previously in the standard pool that ranges from zero to infinity. Dodgemos wants a moderate strategy, so he deposits 100 LP shares in the mid-range position. And Amelia wants more fees and doesn't mind being active in managing her aggressive strategy. If you look at the liquidity spread from concentrated versus standard, you can see it's using the exact same assets, the exact same amounts, now only this time supercharged and concentrated to allow for larger trades to go through. So this is a win for every LP. On top of that, this is also a win for users who get better prices on trades. So now that you know what concentrated liquidity is, let's learn how to use it. First, go to app.osmosis.zone and go to the pools tab to the left. Here are your current positions, pools, and a list of all the other pools you're able to LP to. You can sort by pool types, incentives, or search for what you have in mind. In pool types, first we have one-to-one. -one. These are for assets that should remain pegged like stable coins and have this one equals one icon next to it. Next is weighted pools. These are for multi-asset pools with different ratios. And last is supercharged. This is Osmosis version of concentrated liquidity and will have the supercharged icon next to it. For incentives, you have internal, meaning sponsored by Osmosis, external, being sponsored by someone else, super 
fluid, which gives you more yield by staking your Osmo LP shares, or no incentives. For this video, we'll show you how to use Osmosis Standard versus Supercharged Pools using the Atom Osmo pair as an example. In the standard Atom Osmo pool, pool number one, you would have to deposit an even value amount of Atom Osmo and in return you get LP shares. Now you're in level one getting 7% APR, but you can go to level two and bond them for 14 days with superfluid staking to get 19%. Now you're putting your assets to work but with concentrated liquidity, you could earn more. In the supercharged Atom Osmo pool, pool 1135, you're able to deposit Atom and Osmo, but before you do that, you need to create a position and create a range. First is step one, pick a strategy. Here shows the trading pair, the 24 hour trading volume, the amount of liquidity and spread factor. You can have your position managed for you like with Quasar or do it manually. So let's learn how to step two, add liquidity. This is Osmosis beautiful liquidity providing interface. So this chart shows the price action and volume over time Right now it's showing over seven days, but you can select monthly or yearly and use these buttons to zoom in and out or reset your view. This information will educate you on the type of strategy you want. Here you can choose your strategy depending on how passively or actively you want to manage it and how much fees you want to earn. Wasmington has a long-term passive outlook so we can decide the passive position. Dodgemos wants a balance between risk and reward, and he chooses moderate. And Amelia wants a more aggressive strategy. She's able to earn more fees, but she might be out of range and need to rebalance to get back in range. Or if you want, you can choose a custom LP by simply moving these pins. But let's get a deeper dive into concentrated LPing. Here are the pins that specify your range. The wider the range of these pins, the more likely you are to be in this range and collect fees. But with liquidity so spread out, you do earn less APY and fees. On the other hand, you have a tighter range which focuses and concentrates this liquidity and earns you a higher APR. But with the range being smaller, you're more likely to get out of it, and when that happens, you earn 0% yield. So be careful when setting your highest and lowest range pins. You can move these pins by clicking and dragging or typing in the range. Another thing you have to keep in mind is all the preset strategies have an equal spread of liquidity between both assets. So you LP the same 50-50 value of both. But when you move these pins, you can LP a more value percentage of asset A or B. So in this case, you're LPing 75% Osmo and 25% Adam. And if Adam were to go down, it would now be 50-50. When you withdraw, it would be a 50-50 amount of Adam and Osmo. But if Adam were to go higher, then you would only be left with 100% of asset A and 0% of asset B. So once you've factored all of this in, selected the ranges and the amount of liquidity, you can now execute the transaction and add your liquidity position. And once it's finalized, you can see your positions in the pool tab. So that's AMMs, concentrated liquidity, and how to use Osmosis supercharged liquidity. But let's get a deeper understanding of these models. If you zoom out, you realize AMMs are simply contracts for liquidity. You provide liquidity for insert price with insert amount of fees. You specify the type of the AMM design and the range. And you learned why there are plenty of reasons why you would want to even modify these AMM designs. Today, we just focused on concentrated liquidity, but realize at the core vision of Osmosis is a decentralized liquidity hub with these customizable liquidity contracts AMM designs, and now supercharged liquidity. You see, Cosmos and Interchain have been desperate for liquidity, stable coins, and TVL. And Osmosis is here to get that and supercharge it. So supercharged liquidity brings on more capital efficiency. With a little going a long way, Osmosis can lower incentives and inflation, all while shifting the rest to Osmo stakers and introducing a more sustainable tokenomics. Cosmos no longer has to fight over TVL with concentrated liquidity being adopted. And that's it. Osmosis supercharged liquidity explained.